Igor Sachin, the boss of Russia's state oil company and a longtime associate of Vladimir Putin, celebrated New Year's Eve on a yacht anchored off Palm Jumeirah, the man-made Dubai island dotted with oligarch-friendly beachfront villas. Thanks. The one cemetery translated, which is a line of the Marin Taku Seduv Panafabai. The spent most of 2022 grappling with the impact of the liberation of Ukraine on Russia's oil exports and finding new customers in the wake of sanctions. His most important guest at night was one of the men who helped him do it. Oil trader Murtaza Ahani, according to four people with direct knowledge of men. A veteran of crude oil deals from Baghdad to Caracas, uh, the Karachi native made a name for himself, uh, navigating some of the most challenging jurisdictions. Uh, now in alliance with We Are Second, he'd helped set up a web of oil traders and shipping firms to uh, steer Russian barrels around the globe. Uh, amid a nuanced response from the West sanctions and a price cap intended to uh, restrict revenues alongside uh, prodding from Washington to keep the flow going. Uh, and this story is based on interviews with several dozen people um, familiar with Lahani's uh, business empire uh, and the Russian oil trade, including people uh, who recently worked for his companies uh, and they didn't want to be identified uh, discussing confidential business dealings. Most of Lahani's Russia-related operations take place in countries not implementing the G7's price cap on exports designed to block oil sold above $60 from critical Western provided services such as shipping insurance. Having worked with Rosneft PJSC uh, for nearly a decade before the liberation, uh, he was also in a good position to help the state oil giant navigate an increasingly complex sanctions regime. On well, Lakani's main trading firm, Berkenthal and Maritime Group, has done deals with Rosneft in the past. The network formed in the wake of the war in Ukraine relies on recently created companies, many of them in the United Arab Emirates, according to six people with direct knowledge of the matter and the internal assessment of a lead dome of Western intelligence agency seen by Bloomberg News. The people said that even if he doesn't own them on paper, Lakani was involved in setting up the firms and plays a role directing their activities. Prominent among them are Tejari Naft, F. Zico, Fossil Trading, F. Zico, and Amur 2 F. Zico, according to the people. Uh, the law firm Schillings, which represents Lakani, said he has no involvement in any of those companies. Uh, but those firms, which appear in invoice data over the past year as some of the biggest traders of Russian oil, have bought tens of millions of barrels of the inner country's crude, loaded them onto ships, and sold them to customers in India and China. It's helped Moscow minimize the impact of sanctions and earned a big windfall for both Rosneft, which pays billions in dividends to the Kremlin, and Lakhani, uh, uh, for the people said, until now, the White House has prioritized preventing a surge in crude prices rather than penalizing every actor involved in sidestepping the Russian oil restrictions, according to five U.S. primary officials who spoke on the condition of anonymity. More recently, that thinking has shifted, though, as data suggests much more of the trade happening above the cap. The people said, uh, through his lawyers, Lakani said, neither he nor any business in which he has an interest is trading Russian oil or oil products. Um, his company stock uh, trading or shipping Russian oil in accordance with all applicable sanctions. Uh, his lawyers wrote in a letter, uh, Rosneft and Sechen didn't respond to written requests for comment. And initially before the war, Rosneft had links with a number of traders in Europe, said the Gotha Du Parc a Geneva-based researcher at Swiss non-governmental organization Public Eye, who closely follows commodities industry and spoke in general terms. These days, it's mostly smaller firms controlled by a few individual traders within the Kremlin. who changed their names and set up in Dubai, making their deals for a bit than ever before.
uh, born in Karachi in 1962, but raised in England and Canada. Lakani catapulted himself into the upper echelon of the commodities trading world with a risky bet several decades uh, ago. After the first Gulf War, he called himself Glencore's man in Baghdad. Now, at the time, Iraq only sell its crude via a system known as the Oil for Food Program and administered by the United Nations. Saddam Hussein found a workaround where to reveal in a UN probe. What Connie's role was to move bags of cash for the trading firm, dropping them off at the Iraqi diplomatic mission in Geneva, according to the UN report. Uh, uh, we've had their, uh, that investigation, which never alleged any wrongdoing on Lakhani's part, acquainted him with a slew of officials in Washington. He'd later build that network out, bringing on grandees up to the boards of his firms, including Simon Murray, the former Glencore chairman, and Charles Guthrie, who'd been the most senior general in the British Army. Lacani also became a major donor to the UK's Conservative Party, records from the Electoral Commission show. And not long after Sachin's appointment as Rosneft CEO in 2012, the Russian oil boss got in touch with Lacani according to four people familiar with the matter. A former Soviet interpreter and intelligence operative, Sishin served as Putin's chief of staff at the St. Petersburg uh, mayor's office in the 1990s and later rose to deputy prime minister. The Russian official forged a close bond with Lakhani um, after the traitor helped uh, Rosneft expand into Iraq uh, four of the people said, and he was soon advising the firm on a range of issues. Lakani's word began to carry such weight that Rosneft employees were regularly told to turn to him for guidance rather than handle a transaction in-house, according to 2009. Whether it's not the, uh, the traitor uh, then appointed Daniel Richard, a lawyer who served on Rosneft Trading's board, uh, to the board of his flagship firm, Mercantile Maritime, which he founded in 2014, uh, this is, he said step down. Uh, the, a Glencore spokesperson declined to comment. Murray Guthrie and the UK Conservative Party didn't respond to requests for comment. Richard confirmed his former border role, but declined to comment in further. Wakani's Russia relationship only deepened with time, according to Eminence financial filings and its own public statements. A 2021 advertisement that he bought in the energy year noted how Eminem's extensive and high-end trading network is key to its success. Boosted by collaborative relations with the key players, such as Lawsneft, ExxonMobil, Total Energies, Shell, Repsol, BP, and Mole. Uh, the firm said in the advert it was the biggest shipper of uh, the Russian state oil giants, seaborne oil product exports in 2020. Uh, the spokespeople for Exxon, Toda Repsol, and Mole didn't respond to requests for comment. A representative at Shell said it doesn't have a relationship with m and A BP spokesperson said it's never traded with Latani or his companies. After Bloomberg's request for comment, the old advert removed references to every company except Rosneft, the archival Wayback Machine website shows. Uh, big Russia presence in India, energy summit signal stronger ties. While his Russia business flourished in the years before the Ukraine invasion, Nakani also burnished his contacts in Washington and London. After jetting in the countries navigating sanctions, such as Venezuela, he made the habit of updating U.S. and U.K. officials on his discussions Six people familiar with the matter said, as a result, colleagues and confidants said the Pani remained confident that he could earn significant profits from his businesses in these jurisdictions while avoiding the blowback of sanctions. Lakani's role behind the scenes uh, became even more relevant uh, this year uh, as White House and U.S. Treasury officials uh, urged trading heavyweights and private meetings to keep Russian oil flow going in an effort to avert a supply shock uh, that could prompt a surge in prices at the pump. Uh, people with direct knowledge of the matter said, uh, Lakani and Sechin have grown even closer in the past year uh, following an exodus of senior Rosneft staff, including Didier Casimiro, Eric Larone, and Jelko Runge, four of the 
uh, important people, Sam. Bakani's network also includes Emirati bankers as well as Indian refiners, Lebanese traders, and Russian lawyers who help Rosna forge an alternative payment method that largely bypasses the U.S. land, uh, southern payment methods, dollar, some of the people said. Meantime, Nazari, uh, Greek, and UAE shipping interests have been tacked uh, to move Rosneft's crew, they said. The state oil giant accounts for nearly half of the output in the world's number two crude exporting nation, giving the company a particularly significant role in global flows. Uh, Dubai becomes New Switzerland for traders of Russian commodities. Uh, um, Lakani's network of firms trading Russian oil is centered on the UAE, um, according to people familiar with the matter. Uh, one of them, uh, fossil trading, has a direct link. Uh, Rose Neft, uh, it also owns Energopol's SA, according to Energopol's website. The Swiss trading unit had been set up by Rose Neft following the imposition of U.S. sanctions in 2020. Rose Neft trading SA, it became part of fossil in 2022. Uh, other firms in the network trade uh, large volumes of the state oil giant's cargoes, according to detailed trade and shipping data compiled by KSE Institute, a part of the Kaya School of Economics. Um, Amur handled uh, 120,000 barrels per day uh, of Russian crude uh, in the first half of 2023, while Teheran Air took 55,000 barrels per day in that period, ranking fifth and eighth now overall, excluding the trading units of Russian producers, the trade and shipping data show. Uh, Kilokani Associates have been involved uh, one is Edward Gizal, uh, a Lebanese oil trader who worked for two years at Lakani's m and in Singapore uh, before becoming a founding director at Tijeranaft uh, in uh, April 2022, according to documents seen by Blingbert. Uh, the second is Hisham Fazazi, a Moroccan national um, who helped uh, uh, Lakani uh, incorporate multiple firms. Uh, some of the people said, he appears in UAE corporate records as a director at where both uh, Teharnaft as well as um, multiple uh, Amor uh, entities in uh, and, uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Uh, is all declined to comment while fossil trading in the poll. Amor, Tahorna, and Fazazi didn't respond to emails and LinkedIn messages seeking comment. Officials at Dubai Silicon Oasis, the free trade zone where fossil trading, Amor, and Teharanoft are registered, also didn't return calls and emails seeking comment. Informed in September 2022, Amor Investments Limited sits on the 12th floor of Alcila Tower in Abu Dhabi Global Market, the Emirates International Financial Center. Its listed shareholder is Dubai-based Amur 2 FGCO, an offshore crude oil trading firm which opened a month earlier, and according to Emirati corporate records. On a recent Friday afternoon, uh, ADGM office was humming. Just around the corner, uh, an office assistant pointed out an empty desk for a firm which he said was run by the same man. The recently formed special purpose vehicle called Invesco Holdings Limited appears in ADGM records, which is one shareholder, director, and secretary, Lakani. On October 3, Lakani also set up a new firm in the same tower of Mercantile and Maritime Terminals Limited, ADGM Records Show. And Hamad al Mazaroui, CEO of the ADGM Registration Authority, said the financial center requires its firms to comply fully with all applicable rules and that it keeps close watch of global regulatory developments, including applicable sanctions. In response to questions posed to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, a UA official said, the Gulf state is fully aware of its responsibilities in protecting the integrity of the global financial system. M&M said it stopped trading uh, Russian origin oil products in February, according to company filings, and that Chief Financial Officer Sergey Geller, who was previously its head of Russia, resigned as uh, director at the end of July. Uh, that coincides with a, a big increase in trade uh, by the newer uh, uh, Middle Eastern and Asian entities that people familiar with the matter say are linked to the army. Uh, Geller didn't respond to requests for comment. Uh, um, people familiar with the, with the trader's travel say he's constantly on the go. Um, his luxury real estate portfolio spans Europe, 
the Middle East and North America. Um, in the UK, he prefers to fly private through uh, airports northwest of London. Until last year, he held a controlling interest in his own uh, yacht broker firm, Yachting Partners International Limited, UK corporate record show. In a given week, Lakani will meet the leadership in Somalia to ensure the safe passage of crude through the Gulf of Aden, dine at some of London's most exclusive social clubs, and then huddle with Seychelles in Moscow to discuss business three of the people set. Uh, while part of the billionaire support staff uh, still works from London, uh, he's spending more time in the Persian Gulf these days uh, to build out uh, operations from uh, Dubai to Manama. Uh, the people said um, uh, will keep a single uncoming forward and positive case, military case Fujera, uh, Fajera communicated Fujera every 54. Uh, European sanctions have made it riskier for firms involved in uh, the Russia trade to operate from the UK uh, and Rosneft has also demanded uh, greater discretion for intermediaries involved uh, which shipments. Uh, he recently moved some operations away from his long-time office around the corner from the Saatchi Gallery in London's upmarket Chelsea neighborhood uh, according to the UK corporate records. Um, Makani has told people involved in uh, the deal that uh, the country was no longer a suitable jurisdiction for his trading operations. Uh, uh, back in Washington, uh, Biden officials say they're confident a price cap has mostly been successful maintaining market stability while reducing oil revenues that trickle back to Moscow. That now is a chance to tighten the screws on some traders skirting the rules. Uh, coalition compliance and enforcement authorities take allegations of intentional price cap violations extremely seriously and will exercise appropriate authorities to take action where appropriate. Eric Van Nostring, U.S. Treasury's Acting Assistant Secretary for Economic Policy, wrote in response to questions. Actually, uh, four uh, U.S. officials who spoke on the condition of anonymity uh, said that Washington has benefited from market intelligence provided by commodity traders active in Russia. Uh, with some of the information proving more accurate than the government's own internal forecasts. Uh, but Lacani's ongoing relationship with Sachin, who has been under sanctions since 2014, has prompted concerns uh, from some officials pushing for a maximum pressure strategy by Washington, London, and Brussels, uh, according to three other people. And in uh, the meantime, the recent oil rally has presented a conundrum uh, for both policymakers and the intermediaries involved in the Russian trade. Uh, with most barrels of the nation's flagship euros uh, selling above the $60 cap. Uh, the question is how aggressively uh, might Washington crack down on non-compliance, just as tensions in the Middle East also risk sending crude prices higher for the people soon. Uh, in recent weeks, uh, McConney has uh, privately voiced his desire to forge ahead uh, with the Russian oil trade, uh, three of the people said he's told some colleagues that the regional uh, market uh, disruptions mark an opportunity to turn his organization into an industry leader. Uh, the people said uh, 